me start with this young lady right here. This this one came my way. So we'll we'll start right here. Me or you be talking to somebody or even dating somebody, right? And be so in love, like just love this motherfucker. See absolutely no no wrong in them. Just love them. Then one day you're just like, I don't like you no more. We could be having a good day. And I just be like, I don't like you no more. I don't like the person you are. I don't like the way you move. I don't like the way you think. I just don't like you. So I I, I want to leave. Just like that. Like, I want to go. I don't want to talk anymore. Is that just me? Um, Just looking at the young lady in the video, you know, I wonder how many folks today that this is secretly their mindset. Yeah, that's one thing that I noticed in some of these these toxic situations. You know what I'm saying? People are, are lacking patience. People are lacking commitment. Um, people are not willing to go the distance, but then they will stay or create these toxic situations for the other person. But yet they're not even truly committed to the other person. Yeah, but then you have a situation, you know, and I know the young lady, her video or example can be extreme, but then you have a situation where somebody literally will pop up one day, you know, while one person in the relationship is thinking everything is good, and you literally will have somebody pop up one day, and all of a sudden they ain't got no love for you no more. Yeah, so as wild as the video was from the young lady, it's not that far-fetched. Yeah, but I think people do this stuff all the time. Yeah, but I think that's why we see so many divorces today. I think people just look at the situation and they'll literally just pop up and say, I want to go do something different. Or I want to go try something different. Or maybe the grass is green on the other side. But the whole time, they might have been creating a whole toxic scenario that led to that point. Yeah, so I just wonder. I just wonder. I don't know what y'all think about that. I mean, just say you confuse. Just say you confuse. You know what I'm saying? Just say you confuse and you really don't know what you want. Just say that. Don't come on the internet talking about some easy Disney. So, so a bunch of women that's also confused can jump and accommodate the comments and validate your feelings. That's all it is. Like a lot of these women are just looking for validation. Like, because you already know that sound crazy. You don't pop up randomly one day after being with somebody and loving their dirty draws, talking with some, I just don't like you no more. I mean, where they do that at? So just say you're confused. You don't know what you want. You, you're not dating for the right reasons to begin with. And just say that. Stop jumping on the internet. I think what we need to do in 2024 is, ladies, stop jumping on the internet with all your feelings. Everything that you feel and think don't need to be said out loud. Like, what we need is some discernment. Like, what we need is some discretion. Stop jumping on the internet just saying the first thing that comes out your mouth and comes to your mind. Just stop. Because, I mean, we're telling on ourselves at this point. We're, we're telling on ourselves. And we want to say, oh, men are... You know, men don't value us the same way or men, you know, men don't, you know, they don't um, appreciate us the same way or, you know, they don't hold us in the same regard. But can't you see why there's no mystery anymore about women? There's no mystery at all. It, everything and anything a woman, uh, anything a woman thinks or feels, she just comes on the Internet and shares it with millions of people all over the world. So, yeah, I mean, 